Want to speak real Romanian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at RomanianPod101.com. Do you know how to say I love you in Romanian? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with how to express your feelings to your loved one. Te iubesc. Te iubesc. Te iubesc. Or, if you want to explain those butterflies in your stomach, you can say Am făcut o pasiune pentru tine. Am făcut o pasiune pentru tine. Am făcut o pasiune pentru tine. And when you feel that I love you is not enough, you can say Cuvintele nu pot descrie dragostea mea pentru tine. Cuvintele nu pot descrie dragostea mea pentru tine. Cuvintele nu pot descrie dragostea mea pentru tine. You just learned three different ways to say I love you in Romanian. Do you know how to say thank you in Romanian? In this lesson, you'll learn three different ways to say it. Let's start with the easiest one. Mulțumesc. Mulțumesc. Another way to say thank you is Mulțumesc foarte mult. Mulțumesc foarte mult. Finally, here's a third way to express your gratitude. Mulțumesc frumos. Mulțumesc frumos. Okay, let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. Mulțumesc. Mulțumesc. Mulțumesc foarte mult. Mulțumesc foarte mult. Mulțumesc frumos. Mulțumesc frumos. Well done. You just learned three different ways to say thank you in Romanian. Bună, mă numesc Masanobu. Bună, eu sunt Andreea. Bine ai venit în România. Mulțumesc. Sunt încântat să te cunosc în sfârșit. Și eu sunt încântată de cunoștință. Să mergem să vedem orașul. Cu drag! In this lesson, you are going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you're in a situation where you need help in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. Here's the formal way to say it. Vorbiți engleza? Vor biți engleza. Again, this means Do you speak English? The word vorbiți is a form of the verb a vorbi, which means to speak. A vorbi is known as an e-verb because it ends in e. Most e-verbs conjugate in a similar way. We will show you how to properly conjugate e-verbs like a vorbi in future series at romanianpat101.com. Now, let's make this sentence informal. This is done by adding yesht to the end of a vorbi after you cut the last vowel e. When we do that, we get vorbești. All together, vorbește engleza, vorbești, engleza. This is the informal way to ask, do you speak English? The responses you receive could be one of these three. Da, vorbesc engleza, meaning, yes, I speak English. Da, vorbesc engleza. Da, vorbesc puțin, meaning, yes, I speak a little. Da, vorbesc puțin. Nu, nu vorbesc engleza, meaning, no, I don't speak English. Nu, nu vor. Besc 
engleza. In all of this, vorbesc means I speak. In the last one, we have nu vorbesc, which is the negative form. It means I don't speak. Now it's time for a look at insights. If you want to ask about a different language, just change the word engleza. Here are some language names to get you started. Italiana for Italian, Russa for Russian, Francesa for French, Germana for German. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to apologize or say excuse me in Romanian. The basic phrase for excuse me is mă scuzați. Mă scuzați. We can also use it when asking a question. Mă scuzați. Unde este baia? Meaning, excuse me, where is the restroom? Mă scuzați. Unde este baia? Another way to say excuse me is pardon. Pardon. Just like mă scuzați, we can use pardon when asking a question or when apologizing. Both of these phrases can be used for either excuse me or I'm sorry. But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a different phrase. That phrase is îmi pare rău. It means I'm sorry and can be used in both formal and informal situations. Îmi pare rău. Unlike the others, îmi pare rău only has the meaning of I'm sorry and not excuse me. Now it's time for a look at insights. Please remember that if we accidentally bump into someone on the street, we don't usually say I'm sorry, îmi pare rău. Instead, we say mă scuzați or pardon, excuse me. We're going to learn how to go shopping in Romania. The first thing you need to know how to say is how much is it? Cât costă aceasta? Cât costă? T a chas ta. Imagine you see something you like and want to ask the shop clerk how much it costs. The first thing to say is mă scuzați or pardon. Do you remember what this means? Excuse me. Then simply add cât costă aceasta, meaning how much is it? Mă scuzați. Cât costă aceasta? Excuse me. How much is it? Mă scuzați. Cât costă aceasta? Or, pardon, cât costă aceasta? Pardon, cât costă aceasta? If you want to be more specific when you're asking how much something is, you just need to add it at the end of the sentence. However, you need to change aceasta to acest if it is a masculine noun or to aceasta if it is a feminine. Let's see some examples. Homemade sausage, cârnat de casă, is one of the Romanian traditional dishes. Sausage is a masculine noun, so if you want to buy one, you'll say, mă scuzați, cât costă acest cârnat de casă? This means, Excuse me, how much is this homemade sausage? Mă scuzați, cât costă acest cârnat de casă? Now, if you want to buy a shirt or cămașă in Romanian, which is a feminine noun, you would say, mă scuzați, cât costă această cămașă? Excuse me. How much is this shirt? Mă scuzați cât costă această cămașă. By the way, for more information on masculine and feminine nouns in Romanian, check out lesson 3 of the All About series on RomanianPath101.com. At this point, the shop clerk might confirm by saying, Acest cârnat de casă, meaning this homemade sausage, această cămașă, meaning this shirt, 
or just acesta, meaning this, when telling you the price, they will say acest cârnat de casă, 39 de lei, meaning this homemade sausage, 39 lei, or această cămașă, 39 de lei, meaning this shirt, 39 lei. Now it's time for a look at insights. A faster way to ask about the price of something is cât e, which is a different way of asking how much. For example, if you're in a hurry for a coffee, you can ask the cashier, o cafea vă rog, cât e, meaning a coffee please, how much? This is a shorter, more informal way to ask for the price. 10 things to do in the summer in Romania. Have you ever been to Romania? If not, it's time to go. A călători în străinătate. To travel abroad. Ai nevoie de un pașaport pentru a călători în străinătate. Ai nevoie de un pașaport pentru a călători în străinătate. You need a passport to travel abroad. If you're European, if your country is in the European Union, you don't necessarily need a passport to travel abroad. You just need some identification card. Easy, huh? A lucra un job cu jumătate de normă. A lucra un job cu jumătate de normă. To work a part-time job. A lucra un job cu jumătate de normă. To work a part-time job. Ea s-a hotărât să lucreze un job cu jumătate de normă pentru a face bani în plus pentru vacanța de vară. She decided to work a part-time job to make extra money for the summer vacation. Um, I wanted to work at McDonald's to get some extra money, but my father wouldn't let me, <laughs> so... <laughs> a lot of my friends used to when I was in high school. Yeah, the first thing, McDonald's. I'm like, okay. A participa la școala de vară. A participa la școala de vară. To attend summer school. A participa la școala de vară. To attend summer school. In order to graduate early, he decided to attend summer school. A învăța cum să gătească Mâncare românească. To learn how to cook Romanian food. Săptămâna trecută m-am alăturat unui grup pentru a învăța cum să gătesc mâncare românească. Săptămâna trecută m-am alăturat unui grup pentru a învăța cum să gătesc mâncare românească. Last week I joined a group to learn how to cook Romanian food. Have you ever tried Romanian food? Hmm, you should try. I really like a dessert called papanash. It's kind of like a donut. Uh, it has some cheese in it and uh, jam on top with some sour cream. It's a really nice crust, but also sweet and sour at the same time. Mm, a delight. <laughs> a face un gratar. To have a barbecue. Mi-am invitat noi mei prieteni la mine ca să facem un gratar. Mi-am invitat noi mei prieteni la mine ca să facem un grătar. I invited my new friends to my house to have a barbecue. I love barbecues. Who doesn't love barbecues? <laughs> That's the thing to do in the summer, don't you think? <laughs> a petrece toată noaptea. To party all night. Când eram în facultate, obișnuiam să petrec toată noaptea. Când eram în facultate, obișnuiam să petrec toată noaptea. When I was in college, I used to party all night. Are you partying all night? <laughs> I didn't do that, so I'm like, mm. A se bronza. To get a tan. Ea a stat la piscină toată ziua ca să se bronzeze. Ea a stat la piscină toată ziua ca să se bronzeze. She laid out by the pool all day to get a tan. The thing is I have very white skin, so I usually get red and then I get a tan, so that's why like most people for most people it's easy to get a tan, but not for me. But I do like the sun. 
and I like I like laying out in the sun. And if I get a tan on top of that, it's great. A face o drumeție to go hiking. Am găsit un loc minunat unde putem să facem o drumeție împreună cu părinții noștri. Am găsit un loc minunat unde putem să facem o drumeție împreună cu părinții noștri. We found an incredible place where we can go hiking with our parents. There are many nice places where you can hike in Romania, the Carpathian Mountains. There's really beautiful scenery, the air is fresh, mm, lovely. I love hiking. A lot of Hungarian people come, I mean, people from all Europe come to Romania to do hiking on the, in the Carpathian Mountains. But I know some Hungarian people come especially for that. So what did you do last weekend? Oh, I went to Romania for a hike. Nice. A se distra cu prietenii. To have fun with friends. El a mers la un bar de karaoke pentru a se distra cu prietenii. El a mers la un bar de karaoke pentru a se distra cu prietenii. He went to the karaoke bar to have fun with friends. Ten must know autumn vocabulary. Here we go. Pullover. Sweater. Our first word, pullover. Sweater. Aceste pulovere sunt foarte elegante. These sweaters are very elegant. Aceste pulovere sunt foarte elegante. For English speakers, I believe pullover, sweater, is easy to remember because you just pull something over, you pull it over. So, pullover, sweater. Ploios, rainy. Our next word is ploios. It means rainy, ploios. Furtunile din timpul sezonului ploios pot cauza întârzieri. Storms during the rainy season can cause delays. Furtunile din timpul sezonului ploios pot cauza întârzieri. That happens quite often, doesn't it? Vântos, windy. Our next word, vântos, windy. În luna martie va fi vreme vântoasă, dar caldă. In March, the weather will be warm, but windy. În luna martie, vremea va fi vântoasă, dar caldă. Răcoros, cool. Our next word, răcoros. Cool. Din cauza vremii răcoroase, condițiile de condus au fost dificile. Because of the cool weather, the driving conditions were difficult. Din cauza vremii răcoroase, condițiile de condus au fost dificile. Toamnă, autumn. Our next word is toamnă, autumn. My favorite season. Raportul final va fi gata la toamnă. The final report will be ready in the autumn. Raportul final va fi gata la toamnă. This is a, a very funny expression in Romanian. My family usually uh, uses it when they want to say that something will never happen. So, uh, when are you going to clean your room in autumn? That's never going to happen or something like that. So, <laughs> it's a funny expression. Rece. Cold. So, in autumn, uh, the weather gets cold. Therefore, our next word will be rece, cold. For example, puneți degetul în apă rece pentru 5 minute. Put your finger in cold water for 5 minutes. Puneți degetul în apă rece pentru 5 minute. Castană, chestnut. Castană, chestnut. Această prăjitură cu castane este delicioasă. This chestnut cake is delicious. Această prăjitură cu castane este delicioasă. So, we usually use more than one chestnut in a cake. That's why we say the plural form, prăjitură cu castane. Singular form, castană. Plural form, castane. Do you like chestnut cake? Cămașă cu mânecă lungă. Long-sleeved shirt. Our next word, cămașă cu mânecă lungă, long-sleeved shirt. Este prea cald ca să porți o cămașă cu mânecă lungă. It's too hot to wear a long-sleeved shirt. Este prea cald ca să porți o cămașă cu mânecă lungă. Frunze căzătoare, falling leaves. Next is frunze căzătoare, falling leaves. 
Frunzele căzătoare protejează rădăcinile plantelor mele. The falling leaves are protecting the roots of my plants. Frunzele căzătoare protejează rădăcinile plantelor mele. We have an expression in Romanian uh, when there are a lot of falling leaves on the ground and we say it looks like a carpet, like a Persian carpet. So we use this expression to talk about the beauty of an autumn scenery. Frunza, leaf. For our last word, we have frunza, one leaf, frunza. Câinele se joacă cu un morman de frunze moarte. The dog plays with a pile of dead leaves. Câinele se joacă cu un morman de frunze moarte. So one leaf, it's frunză, o frunză, and the plural form frunze. Frunză, frunze. There it is. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, visit our lesson library and under category, choose conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week.
And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye. When learning a new language, we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination, discouragement, or failure. But don't panic. With a good strategy, you'll be able to overcome these difficulties. Are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners? Number one, optimize your time. When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number two, consistency with your chosen method. There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number three, use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar, or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number four, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step-by-step step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight. But with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. Give it a try now. Sign up for your account. Just click the link in the description. Accountant. Contabil. Contabil. Actor. 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 Advertisement. Publicitate, publicitate. Accountant. Contabil, contabil. Adjective. Adjective, adjective. Afternoon. Dupa amiaza, dupa amiaza. Air conditioner. Air conditionat. Air conditionat. Airplane. Avion. Avion. Airport. Aeroport. Aeroport. Alcohol. 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 Ankle. Glezna. Glezna. Appetizer. Aperitive. Aperitive. Apple. Mud. Mud. Apricots. Kaisa. Kaisa. April. Aprilia. Aprilia. Arm. Brats. Brats. Arrive. A so si. A so si. Attic. Masardo. Masardo. August. 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 Autumn. Tuamna. Tuamna. 
back door. Usha din spate. Usha din spate. Backbone. Shiraspinari. Shiraspinari. Door. Curtea din spate. Curtea din spate. Banana. 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 Bandage. Leucoplas. Leucoplas. Barley. Orz. Orz. Basement. Subsol. Subsol. Bathe. A face baie. A face baie. Bathroom. Baie. Baie. Be late. Antirzia. Antirzia. Beard. Barba. Barba. Beautiful. Frumoasă. Frumoasă. Bed. Pot. Pot. Bedroom. Dormitor. Dormitor. Beef. Carne de vită. Carne de vită. Beer. Bere. Bere. To believe. A crede. A crede. Beverage. Băuturi. Băuturi. Bicycle. Bicicletă. Bicicletă. Bird. Pasare. Pasare. Birthday. Zi de naștere. Zi de naștere. Bitter. Amar. Amar. Black. Negru. Negru. Black tea. Chai negru. Chai negru. Blackboard. Tabla. Tabla. Blog. 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 Blouse. Bluza. Bluza. Blue. Albastro. Albastro. Boat. Barca. Barca. Boiling water. Apa fiarta. Apa fiarta. Bone. Os. Os. Book. Carte. Carte. Boutique. 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 Confirm. A confirma. A confirma. Construction worker. Constructor. Constructor. Cook. Bucatar. Bucatar. Copier. Copiator. Copiator. Cost. Preț. 
Pret. Coworker. Coleg. Coleg. Credit. 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 Customer. Client. Client. Database. Baza de date. Baza de date. Debt. Creanza. Creanza. Decision. Decisie. Decisie. Decrease. Asca da. Asca da. Degree. Licenza. Licenza. Dentist. 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 Department. 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 Desk. Bureau. Bureau. Dictionary. Diccionar. Diccionar. Director. 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 To discount. A reduce. A reduce. Dissertation. Teza. Teza. Distribution. Distribuire. Distribuire. Doctor. Doctorita. Doctorita. Doctorate. Doctorat. Doctorat. Document. 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 Dormitory. Dormitor. Dormitor. Driver. Chauffeur. Chauffeur. Economics. Stinze economice. Stinze economice. Education. Educație. Educație. Elementary school. Școală primară. Școală primară. Employee. Angajat. Angajat. Employer. Angajator. Angajator. Employment. Angajare. Angajare. Engineer. 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 Enterprise. Întreprindere. Întreprindere. Eraser. Radiera. Radiera. Essay. Eseu. Eseu. Exam. Examen. Examen. Executive. Director. Director. Experience. Experienza. Experienza. Experiment. 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 Facility. 
centru centru factory fabrică fabrică factory worker muncitoare în fabrică muncitoare în fabrică fair târg târg farmer fermier fermier field câmp câmp final teste finale teste finale firefighter pompier pompier Flight attendant. Stewardessa. Stewardessa. Folder. Dossad. Dossad. Geography. Geografia. Geografia. Glue. Lipici. Lipic. Goal. Objectiv. Objectiv. Goods. Bunuri. Bunuri. Grade. Nota. Nota. Gem. Sală. De sport. Sală de sport. Headquarters. Sediu. Sediu. High school. Liceu. Liceu.
Hello, my name is Larisa, and today we are going to learn the top 25 most useful phrases in Romanian. Are you ready? Here we go. Buna. Hello. Buna. 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 Buna dimineața. Good morning. Buna dimineața. Buna dimineața. Mm, we usually say buna dimineața in a very formal way. So I would say buna dimineața to my parents when I wake up or when I get to school to my professors. It's quite formal. Um, but if I would say it to my cousins or brothers or sisters or friends, I can be friendly and say nața. Buna ziua. Good afternoon. The next one is good afternoon. Good afternoon. Buna ziua. Buna ziua. So if I see my professor, buna ziua. Buna ziua. First we did hello as in buna. So we use buna and then we add the time of the day. Buna ziua. Buna sera. Good evening. Good evening. We say buna sera. Good evening. Buna sera. We learn how to say Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Good morning, buna dimineața. Good afternoon, buna ziua. And good evening, buna sera. Cum vă numiți? What's your name? When we meet someone um, and they don't introduce themselves, we might want to ask them their name. So if they're about the same age uh, and you want to say it casual, you say, Cum te cheamă? Cum te cheamă? Or, cum te numești? Cum te numești? For example, if I see a little girl and I, ask, I want to ask her her name, cum te cheamă? Or, cum te numești? However, if I address an older person, I would say, cum vă numiți? Cum vă numiți? Or, cum vă cheamă? Cum vă cheamă? The polite way in Romanian to, to address someone is usually to put it in the plural form. Even if it's only one person, we address that person as if there are more people. It's, it's funny because in English you have you for one person or for many people. But in Romanian, you can address to one person as if you're addressing more people. <laughs> and that is polite. Mă numesc Eva. My name is Eva. Let's say we ask the little girl, Cum te cheamă? What's your name? And she might reply something like, Sunt Eva. Sunt Eva. Or, Mă numesc Eva. Mă numesc Eva. Most of the times in Romania, we like to say I. So in Romanian, I is eu. Eu. That's why, Eu mă numesc Larisa. Eu mă numesc Larisa. Or, numele meu, my name. Numele meu este Larisa. Încântată de cunoștință. And, încântată de cunoștință. Nice to meet you. Uh, we have learned each other's names. And, I feel nice to meet you. I feel that I'm happy to meet you. So, I would say, încântată de cunoștință. Încântată de cunoștință. I'm a girl and I would put a at the end of the word. Încântată. Încântată de cunoștință. If I were a guy, I would say încântat. So I would end it with a T. Încântat. Ce mai faci? How are you? Usually when we meet someone in Romania, um, we say, hi, how are you? Bună, ce faci? Hi, how are you? Bună, ce faci? Without bună, just ce mai faci? It's more like how have you been? Ce mai faci? How have you been? How are things uh, going with you? How has it been going with you? Bună, ce mai faci? Or bună, ce faci? And the conversation would be very fast. Uh, exchanging salutes would be um, bună, ce faci? Bine tu? Bine, mulțumesc! Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Great, thanks! Sunt bine, mulțumesc. Și tu? 
I'm fine, thanks. And you? If a professor would ask you, Hi, how are you? They would say, Bună ziua, ce mai faci? And I would say, Mulțumesc, bine. Dumneavoastră? So, I'm good, thank you. How, and you? I use dumneavoastră because it's the polite way to say you in Romanian. If I say you for one person, I would say tu. If I say you for um, an address it formally, I would say dumneavoastră. It's a bit long, but it's a useful word. I just want to mention one thing about mulțumesc. Uh, just like in the you, for, for you is tu and dumneavoastră. So short word tu and longer word dumneavoastră, informal, formal. Mulțumesc is the Romanian, 100% Romanian word uh, for thank you. But if we say thank you between friends, we might just say merci, which sounds a like like French. So it might be easier to remember for some people who study other European languages. But uh, again, the most polite way to say is mulțumesc. Mulțumesc. And if you're between friends, merci. Merci. Vă rog. Please. So one example for very useful when we use please, like, could you please help me? Uh, could you please help me? So I address someone that I don't know and I want to be polite. Like, could you please help me? Uh, mă puteți ajuta, vă rog? Mă puteți ajuta, vă rog? When, when we want to say after you, we can just say please as in please go, go ahead or after you. We would say vă rog, vă rog. After you, varog. <laughs> or if I order something at the restaurant, a salad, o salată, varog. A salad, please. As in, I would like a salad. Just the short version, a salad, please. O salată, varog. Varog. Cu plăcere. You're welcome. So when someone says mulțumesc and say you're welcome, cu plăcere. Cu Plăcere. This is one of my favorite words because I like how pleasure sounds like in English as well and in Romania. Romanian, uh, plăcere. Romanians, um, so we believe that the Romanian language is a very sweet language and plăcere is one of the sweetest words that I know. Da. Yes. Da. Da. Da sounds like Russian because it's the same. <laughs> da. Da? Da. Have to be very confident. Da. Nu. No. For no, we say nu. No. Nu. No. I did my hand like this, but um, so for gestures, when we say da, we, we, we nod. And for nu, no, we do like this. So... Do you like the Romanian language? Da. Is it difficult? No. <laughs> Something like that. Bine. Okay. Next one is okay. Okay. Bine. Bine. So for example, um, I, I said earlier, hey, how are you? I'm fine. Bună, ce faci? Bine. I'm okay. Bine. Mă scuzați. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mă scuzați. Mă scuzați. It's a very polite way to say. Um, if you address a friend of yours, mă scuzi. Mă scuzi. If you address it formally, mă scuzați. Mă scuzați. So if I'm on the bus and by mistake I happen to step on someone's foot or something, ah, mă scuzați. Mă scuzați. Excuse me. Îmi pare rău. I'm sorry. So, excuse me is mă scuzați. And I'm sorry, îmi pare rău. Îmi pare rău. Three words. Îmi pare rău. Cât este ceasul? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Cât este ceasul? Or, cât e ceasul? So, if someone asks me, cât este ceasul? Cât este ceasul? Or, cât e ceasul? Este 11 și un sfert. 
Mulțumesc! It's 11.15. Thank you! Mulțumesc! You're welcome! Cu plăcere! Unde este toaleta? Where is the bathroom? I want to know where the bathroom is, so where's the bathroom? Unde este toaleta? Unde? Unde means where. Unde este toaleta? Unde este toaleta? Where is the bathroom? Așteptați un moment. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Așteptați un moment. Așteptați un moment. If I address it formally, așteptați. If I say it to one person uh, in, informally, așteaptă un moment. Așteaptă. Așteaptă, așteptați. Singular, plural. Cât costă aceasta? How much is this? How much is this? Cât costă aceasta? Or, cât costă acesta? The simple way to say how much, cât costă. If it's a female word, aceasta. If it's a masculine word, acesta. Female, aceasta. Masculine, acesta. Aceasta, acesta. How much? Cât costă? Cât costă? Aceasta? Da. <laughs> Pot să primesc nota de plată, vă rog? Could I get the check, please? The next one is a bit long. Could I get the check, please? Pot să primesc nota de plată, vă rog? Pot să primesc nota de plată, vă rog? The most important word is the check, nota de plată. If you want to say check, please, nota, vă rog. <laughs> I would be, I would do something like nota, vă rog, mulțumesc, something like that. Ajutor! Help! Help! Ajutor! Ajutor! Ne vedem mai târziu. See you later. Next one is see you later. See you later. Ne vedem mai târziu. Ne vedem mai târziu. See you later. La revedere. Goodbye. Goodbye. La revedere. La revedere. Can you do the R? Revedere. La revedere. La revedere. We also say pa between friends. Pa. Pa, pa. Or when we address children. Pa. Pa. But la revedere is very common. Nu știu. I don't know. I don't know. Nu știu. Do you know? I don't know. Nu știu. Uh, so we've reached the end of our first lesson. How did you like it? V-a plăcut? How did you like it? Um, I hope you liked it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe. Uh, leave us comments if you have any questions. I'm really curious what was your favorite word. And I hope to see you next time on RomanianPod101.com. La revedere! Pa, pa! La revedere! O zi bună! Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.